The Anglo-Saxon period in the history of the British Isles is a fascinating era marked by significant political, cultural, and societal changes. This period began with the withdrawal of Roman forces in the early 5th century and witnessed the arrival of the Anglo-Saxons, a Germanic people who went on to establish various kingdoms across the region. In this video, we will delve into the key events and characteristics of the Anglo-Saxon period, exploring the impact of Roman withdrawal and the subsequent formation of the Anglo-Saxon kingdoms. The Roman Empire, having established control over Britain during the first century, played a crucial role in shaping the region's infrastructure, governance, and cultural landscape. However, by the early fifth century, the Roman Empire faced internal strife and external threats, leading to the decision to withdraw troops from Britain. The reasons for this withdrawal are complex and multifaceted, involving economic challenges, military concerns, and political instability within the empire. The departure of Roman forces left a power vacuum in Britain, creating an opportunity for various groups, including the Anglo-Saxons, to migrate and establish themselves in the region. The Anglo-Saxons, comprising tribes such as the Angles, Saxons and Jutes, originated from present-day Germany and Denmark. Their migration to Britain during the 5th and 6th centuries marked a significant turning point in the island's history. The influx of the Anglo-Saxons had profound implications for the existing Romano-British population. The Anglo-Saxons brought with them a distinct Germanic culture, language, and societal structure. The fusion of these elements with the remnants of Roman influence laid the foundation for the emergence of Anglo-Saxon England. The process of cultural assimilation and interaction between the incoming Germanic tribes and the indigenous population was intricate and multifaceted. One of the notable consequences of the Anglo-Saxon migration was the formation of various kingdoms, each ruled by different tribes and leaders. The early Anglo-Saxon period is characterized by a fragmented political landscape with competing kingdoms vying for dominance. Among the prominent Anglo-Saxon kingdoms were Wessex, Mercia, Northumbria, East Anglia, and Kent. These kingdoms were initially small and governed by local chieftains, but over time, they expanded their territories and consolidated power. The establishment of these kingdoms was not a smooth and linear process. Conflicts and power struggles were common as different Anglo-Saxon groups sought to assert control over territories and resources. The dynamic nature of the political landscape during this period is evident in the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, a historical record that chronicles the events and upheavals of the time. The Anglo-Saxon kingdoms were not only characterized by political diversity, but also by distinct regional cultures and dialects. The language spoken by the Anglo-Saxons, Old English, underwent regional variations, leading to the development of different dialects in various parts of the country. This linguistic diversity reflected the decentralized nature of governance and the relative independence of the individual kingdoms. The Anglo-Saxon period was not only marked by political and cultural transformations, but also by changes in religious practices. The arrival of Christianity in the 6th and 7th centuries had a profound impact on Anglo-Saxon society. Missionaries such as Augustine of Canterbury played a crucial role in converting the Anglo-Saxons to Christianity. The conversion process was gradual, and pagan beliefs persisted in some regions for an extended period. The adoption of Christianity brought about changes in art, education, and the overall intellectual climate of Anglo-Saxon England. Monasteries became centers of learning and cultural production, preserving manuscripts and contributing to the spread of Christian teachings. The illuminated manuscripts, such as the Lindisfarne Gospels and the Book of Kells, showcase the artistic achievements of this period. The Anglo-Saxon period also witnessed the development of a distinct legal system and social structure. The concept of the Wergild, 
a monetary compensation for crimes based on the social status of the victim, was a key element of Anglo-Saxon law. The hierarchical social structure included kings, nobles, freemen, and slaves, with clear distinctions in rights and responsibilities. Despite the political and cultural achievements of the Anglo-Saxon kingdoms, they faced external threats, particularly from Viking invasions in the 8th and 9th centuries. The Vikings, seafaring Norse warriors, raided and pillaged various Anglo-Saxon settlements, challenging the stability of the existing political order. The response to Viking invasions varied among the Anglo-Saxon kingdoms, with some successfully resisting and others succumbing to the Norse onslaught. The Battle of Stamford Bridge in 1066 marked a turning point in the Anglo-Saxon period. It was during this battle that King Harold Siskiyou of England faced both Viking invaders and an imminent Norman invasion led by William the Conqueror. Despite achieving a decisive victory against the Vikings, Harold's forces were weakened, and shortly afterward, the Normans triumphed at the Battle of Hastings. This event marked the end of the Anglo-Saxon era and the beginning of Norman rule in England. In this video, we covered how the arrival of the Anglo-Saxons, their formation of diverse kingdoms, and the subsequent development of a unique cultural and political landscape laid the groundwork for the evolution of England. Despite facing external threats and internal conflicts, the Anglo-Saxon kingdoms left a lasting impact on the identity and heritage of the British Isles, shaping the trajectory of the nation's history for centuries to come. Join us again as we continue to explore the wonders of our world's diverse histories. Until next time, thank you for watching.